Hola and bienvenidos everybody. My name is Nitpick and today we are going to be listening to more Dirty Loops. I got several messages on my most recent video of Dirty Loops <laughs> with my dream of becoming a jazz flutist about them releasing a new song called Run Away. Needless to say, when I heard that was coming out, I immediately was like, I gotta check this out, but why not share it with my audience? So before we get into the video, if you like the content I create, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, as well as checking out my Patreon in the description below. I actually do create stuff outside of YouTube and I would like to start creating more on Patreon for people to check out. For instance, my daily life as a flutist and a teacher, as well as some performances that I plan on recording and posting, as well as if there's absolutely something you think I won't get to, or you're like, I wonder what her outlook is on this piece or song or whatever. There's something there for that. But before you do that, let's check out some more Dirty Loops. don't know what I just experienced. We're gonna have to go back 100%. We have an electronic loop that's happening at the beginning and I, I completely lost track if the loop was still going. I was immediately caught off guard by listening to the singer, Jonah, right? I was completely drawn into his voice and the effects that were happening. So I, we have to go back and kind of like discuss what I'm hearing. So we have a strings loop. And obviously interjections from our drum set, from our drummer here. Also the drum set is gorgeous. We've got layered chorus vocals. Oh, his voice. Also, <laughs> the get up. The two arms, baby! How is 
he doing that? The reason why I'm going to stop there again is because I need somebody to explain to me. How does that work? <laughs> it, obviously, like, he, he has his pedal board in front of him. Like, I can see that. But I didn't think you could do effects like that. Because it's, it's not just him, right? It's also the rest of the group. Like, for instance, you could hear, like, the piano cut out as well. There was also an effect that he's playing and there's, like, I don't think it's a delay, but there, it's, like, multiple notes are being played one right after the other, but he's not playing all those multiple notes. He's obviously playing the, like, the finger pattern of what he's doing, but it, it happens afterwards. Look, don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I need it one more time. So we got tapping, right? That. See, is that every single note he's playing? Woo. Yes, dude. We're gonna keep going, I promise. We're going. I'm sorry. Yeah, that loop is still happening in the back. These weird arms, dude. Am I gonna get my face melted off again? Okay, we're not gonna go completely all the way back. Also, the fact that there's some like goofiness, there's some like, there's some silliness happening and I absolutely appreciate it because it's goofy. I like it. I like funny. I like stuff like that. Jonah's voice sounds amazing when it's just, he creates a chorus of his own voices. Of course, give me a, give me a whole choir of them. But th it's crazy because like, okay, I had no idea that Dirty Loops was just the keyboardist, the drummer, and a bassist, but the bassist is not like a bassist. It's like he's playing two roles here, the bass and electric guitar, because it sounds like he's playing an electric guitar. It is insane. Like. He's like 
like doing the job of two things. Also, yeah. All the hammer on all the tapping. And then he's on the floor. take any more there's just so much happening so we actually changed keys it's gone up a half step actually we're gonna go back a little bit to about right here so we're creating tension here and then we shift keys by going up yeah that solo led in to the higher pitch though <laughs> dirty loops a power trio that's got the keys to the lamborghini consists of tone is all in the fingers <laughs> bassoon and bagpipe background beatboxing okay so there are some there's additional like backtracking right and yeah we have the strings okay so a lot of this makes sense hand stylists the yes man <laughs> Tent tattoo artist Henrik Linder at It's Not a Face Mom Tattoo. That's an actual name of his studio. Wow, okay, it lists everything they play on. Fractal audio. Oh my god. Also, his his strings, were they pink? Was his strings pink? What, am I crazy? I need to go see them live. I know they're coming to my neck of the woods. Oh my God, is there, there's so much happening and I can't tell you what is happening with the bass. I'm assuming it's studio recording with effects added, but this is a music video, right? So there's obviously effects being added, but like from what I've read and from what I've heard, this is possible to be done live. Like they would perform something that, like this live. So I'm assuming it's all done from the pedal board because that is insane. Is the extra arm similar to like the idea of Paganini selling his soul to the devil to play as well as he does? So Henrik sold his soul to the devil to play as well as he does. Just wanted to make that comparison. <laughs> Henrik Linder, acoustic bass, tone is all in the fingers. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's so accurate because everything he did, it was, sounded like we had an electric guitar and we had a bass guitar. Like there was nothing missing. This whole recording, you would never, you would not think that anything's missing. I loved this. This is amazing. I, somebody, if somebody can literally explain to me what they were doing to make the tone quality that way, please leave it down in the comments because the, the amazing musicianship here Bravo. Well, 
Congratulations, Dirty Loops, you have another fan. I don't know if I can do the reactions anymore because like holding back on listening to this is gonna kill me. It, I think it will because I am discovering that there is more and more and more that I need to listen to and it's hard to hold off. I don't know how reactors do it. I just can't. It's hard. Holding off is difficult. But anyway, besides the point. If you want to continue the conversation about music, leave a comment down below. What did you think about Runaway? What did you think about the insane soloing that happened in this video? Again, if you'd like to support the channel, like, subscribe, check out my Patreon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Ha, <laughs>